Are there lessons we already can take away uh, from what we've seen? And, and what are some of the most important, maybe for, for the U.S. Army? Absolutely, there are lessons that we can already learn for this. And I would say for the Army, one of the most um, important lessons is you know, that old saying that um, amateurs focus on strategy, but professionals focus on logistics. And I think if you look at uh, what has happened in Ukraine, you know, it is logistics, logistics, logistics. And as we think about the Indo-Pacific and the possibility of a, of a war in that theater, if that were come to pass, the, the logistics problem will be even more challenging. So I think for us in the Army, what has happened in Ukraine underscores how important it is for us to focus on what we call in DOD contested logistics. The idea that, you know, we will no longer have the space and time that we had, for example, in the Middle East to build up, you know, very large forward operating bases and be able to sort of move supplies here and there without any challenges. And another big lesson, obviously, is the importance of unmanned aerial systems. Um, whether, you know, they can be used, if you will, um, you know, they, they can be a, a, a tool for advantage in terms of um, being able to help us with ISR to obviously deliver kinetic payloads, but they're also a threat, clearly. Uh, and so we in the Army are very focused on the counter UAS problem. I think another important lesson that we've seen in Ukraine is how the, the battlefield is going to be much more transparent than it has been in the past. And some of that is about, you know, the ubiquitousness of sensors and uh, the ability to sort of fuse open source information. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot harder to hide our formations on the battlefield than it has been in the past. And, and we're also, you know, our soldiers are going to have to be a lot more concerned about their own signatures. You know, part of the way we've been able, the Ukrainians have been able to target the Russians is when the Russian soldiers get on Facebook and post pictures. So. There's a lot for us to think about there. Yeah, um, that last point I think is particularly interesting. I've been talking for over a decade about a concept uh, called training to fight in the light, basically learning to operate with fewer secrets, yes. assuming that you can't, that we're in a transparent world, right? Um, and to some degree, democracies have an advantage in an increasingly transparent world.